I'm Tom Harlow. I'm the owner and operator of Kestrel Farm here. Uh, we bought this farm this past year. It's about 90 acres, certified organic. Uh, we are growing vegetables on about 50 acres of it. The rest of it is fallow or pasture. Um, this is in Westminster, Vermont. It's wholesale, probably 85% of it. The other 15% is retailed through a farm stand that we are partners in with my brother, actually two brothers. This is a flame weeder that I use that Paul Harlow bought uh, five or six years ago for about five to six thousand dollars. It runs on vapor rather than liquid. It was custom made in Germany to fit the four foot wide beds that we were planting at that time. We use it for um, raised beds for carrots and parsnips mainly. Uh, it's used in carrots and parsnips on a stale seed bed, which gives us at least a 50% reduction in weeds that need to be hand pulled. We make a stale seed bed. Uh, about a week or 10 days later, we roll the top of the bed, then we plant. And just before emergence of the crop, we run the flamer over to kill small weeds of a quarter to a half an inch in height. Um, it works really well on broadleaf weeds. It does next to nothing on perennial weeds or grasses. Okay, this is a vapor system. has four of these 20, 25 pound tanks that go in this reservoir of water. This tank is a reservoir filled with water, which is heated by a small burner, which keeps the water warm and keeps these tanks from freezing because we use the gas at such a high rate that these tanks would freeze up and uh, Gas is no longer available if it freezes up. Um, there are shutoffs on each tank. There is a shutoff inside the control panel which shuts off the gas. There is an electronic shutoff for the burners and the pilot. Um, six burners across this four foot space um, producing, I don't know what kind of BTUs, but very hot. Um, in dry conditions, I can travel at about six miles an hour, uh, doing a very good job. If early in the morning, if the weeds are wet with dew, I usually shift down to about uh, four miles per hour. The disadvantage to this machine is that it's set up for the four foot wide bed and it's not adjustable. The burners are all attached rigidly um, they can't be turned off, they can't be adjusted to different angles. Um, so we're stuck with this four foot wide width. Since this was made, we've gone down to a, about a two foot wide bed, which means that we're using only, actually only using about half of the burners. Uh, generally, this uses about $32 worth of gas per acre, which is $8 per tank, which is what it costs us to fill these up. Um, under dry conditions, we use a little less gas because we're traveling faster. In wet conditions, we use a little more gas because we have to travel at a slower speed. Okay, this is a roller that comes from off of the back of a field cultivator. Um, the brackets have been cut off and we just mount it mid-mount underneath this tractor. Um, it's ground driven, rolls very freely. Um, we use this in the initial preparation of a stale seed bed, uh, subsoiling first, and then coming back with this roller to make a nice smooth and level seed bed. Um, and then about a week or 10 days later, we come back and hit the beds with this roller to kill any small weeds that have germinated uh, just before we plant. Another very important thing to remember about uh, tilling your stale seed bed with this is that you don't want to go so deep that you're bringing up new weed seeds. Um, so we try to go no more than two inches deep with this. We also travel very fast to get a good stirring of the soil. 